Hello, my name is Christina Painter, formerly known as Christina Karam, and today I'm going to show you how to make prosciutto wrap scallops on top of a guacamole sauce. Now one thing I really like about this recipe is that it's really healthy, it's filling because it's filled with lots of protein, and obviously it's really easy to do. It doesn't take much time. So let's get started. What we're going to do is first take our prosciutto, line it together, and then just put a, slight, a slit right down the center. And that way, this will make, make it easier to wrap the, uh, the scallops. And if it doesn't work the first time, just tug a little at it. No one's really going to care what it looks like as long as it's wrapped. Anything in prosciutto or bacon is amazing. So just make sure you, uh, you can even double up here on the prosciutto because it's really thin. It's better if it's sliced thin. So I used about three or four slices and I'm using, oh, about eight to ten um, scallops. So this should be enough and depending on how many you'd like to feed. You may even have leftovers. Okay, so as I have this here, what I'm going to do is use paper towel to pat the scallops dry. You don't want them to be moist because A, the prosciutto won't stick, and B, they won't get toasty like you'd like them to. So you just take the scallops, slippery little suckers, and you pat it dry, and just place them on the side here. And we're going to just keep doing that until we're done here. Now that we've dried all the scallops, we're going to carefully wrap the prosciutto around them. You're going to use some toothpicks for this because unfortunately they don't stick too easily on their own. So you're just going to hold the, actually you can even put it down, the scallop, take a piece of the prosciutto, and just, I'll even hold it up so you can see it better. You can even fold it over if you need it, if you need if it overlaps, but then just delicately wrap the scallop. And you really, you want to just spear the scallop where your tip was, where you overlapped on the prosciutto. So then you just do as such. And as you can see, it's gone through the whole thing. So what we're going to do is just place these one by one on top of a baking pan. And this baking pan is actually going to go into an oven preheated to 350 degrees. So I came across this recipe actually while I was researching something called the Paleo Diet. Now, I'm not about any diets. Obviously, I'm obsessed with food, and I don't plan on cutting it out of my lifestyle. But it seemed really interesting, the approach that um, this diet has, where they eliminate carbs and they eliminate dairy, which honestly is going to be really difficult for me to do. Um, but they focus on primal ingredients, such as animals of all types, sea and land. And I came across this recipe, and considering that it is a Friday night, I figured it would be really fun to make kind of a four-star restaurant out of my kitchen. Okay, now that we've officially wrapped all the prosciutto around the scallops, as you can see here, we're going to just drizzle some olive oil on top of them and season them with some salt, pepper, and some rosemary. Alright, so just a light drizzle. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to burn them. And then you can even use your... I hope you're not grossed out because in the kitchen nothing should gross you out. <laughs> Except maybe an empty fridge. <laughs> okay, so just use your fingers and um, let the olive oil kind of seep into the scallops. Olive oil is very healthy for you. Um, so use olive oil. Don't use soybean oil or canola oil. Okay, so then we're just going to use some, I have some rosemary here that I've put in this little concoction. We're just going to use our fingers to um, kind of ground it because as you know, or if you don't, I will show you, rosemary is kind of a longer grain not a grain, it's a spice, but um, it's not the greatest thing if you get a whole piece of this in your mouth when you're eating it. So I personally try to grind it with in between my fingers. And then I'm just going to lightly uh, pat it on there. See, so it's kind of like a little rosemary bed on top of these scallops. Yum, yum, yum. And it looks pretty. I hope it looks even prettier once it gets out of the oven. 
Everything looks prettier cooked, if you ask me. Unless you burn it, then it just, unfortunately, goes the opposite direction. <laughs> so we're just, actually, this was a perfect amount of rosemary. Not to toot my own horn. <laughs> okay. And now we're just going to put some salt. Don't overdo it. You don't want your food to ever be bland, but you also don't want to overdo it. You can always add more. You can never take the salt out. And then just a little bit of pepper. Now, if you are really fancy you and you have a pepper grinder, I would use that. Um, I'm a newlywed, and I don't officially have everything in my kitchen yet. One day, um, as my husband videotapes this for me. <laughs> Um, but that actually, it tastes better when it's a finer ground pepper. So make sure you use that if you have it handy. All right, since these are all seasoned, we're just going to put these in the oven. Again, preheated at 350. And while we're doing that, they should, they should take about, I would say, 15 minutes. But make sure you check on them. Don't leave them alone because when the cat's away, the mice will play. All right, so here, we're going to start working on the sauce. This is kind of an interesting concoction, but I have ground uh, with salt, some garlic. You can't even see it. It's only a couple, you can see it on here, a couple cloves. And basically, this is a very Middle Eastern um, item in the kitchen. You can find this anywhere, but a wooden one you could probably find more so either on Amazon or in a Lebanese store. So head over there because this is something that you cannot live without, especially if you use garlic. So we use this kind of, see it's kind of loud. We use this to just uh, make the garlic fine. Um, we're going to add our avocados in this. I actually, to be quite honest, this is the first time I do this. Um, I wanted the avocados to be not pureed, but almost to that consistency. If you don't know, pureed is just almost like a thin, watery paste. Um, it doesn't sound very appealing, but it's very delicious if you do it right. All right, and then I actually left one half of the avocado to show you how I cut those cubes. It's quite easy. So be careful, don't do this at home. You can use a spoon, um, but I personally don't like to waste anything around the avocado, so there you go. It's easy. You can just, again, you just put your knife in there, get a good grasp, don't miss the avocado. Please don't get your hand. Not only is it not delicious in food, but we don't want anyone to get hurt. Cooking should always be fun, easy, and positively delicious. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That's what you get for a generic pan. Alrighty. So, I don't know if you saw that. I'm sorry. I was a bit distracted. But you just cut this in cubes kind of lengthwise and then across the width. And then you just use your thumbs and pop, there they go. And then um, if you want, which I want, you can use a spoon to kind of get them out quicker. There you go, see, it's easier to uh, mash the avocados when they're in smaller pieces. That way you're not wrestling with the same piece. Usually I like to uh, Eat off, eat the avocado, the remaining avocado off the skin, but I'll be, I'll have my manners. All right, so what I'm going to do is use the same, oh, perfect, it worked exactly as I thought it would. So I'm just mashing here, if you can see this, I'm just mashing the avocado. Avocado is one way, again, I'm not a paleo um, person yet, but I have noticed that this is one way that they really do get their, uh, their nutrients and their fats. They believe in healthy fats. Look at how look at how delicious and creamy that is. And it's so quick. I'm gonna do this for my guacamole next time without the recipe. Just full on chips and guac. Alright. And plus it's good because you can just mix your garlic in. Now I don't know if you've noticed, but I have some onions and tomatoes on my left side. What I'm gonna do, you'll follow me is drizzle a little bit of olive oil. I don't know how much, maybe a, tea, a teaspoon. I usually just eye all this. And I'm gonna put finely, finely uh, diced onion into this. I'm just gonna cook it real quick so it has that caramelized onion taste in my guacamole sauce. So I'm gonna turn my 
go on. Oh, there it goes. I'm going to turn on low because with a gas stove, it gets hot quick. So be careful. So I'm just going to throw this. This right here is only a quarter of, I'd say, a medium onion. Don't overdo it. I'm, again, the scallops are going on top of this bed, bed of sauce. So you don't want to overdo the onions or anything. You want everything to taste even. So I'm going to let this caramelize and then I'm going to add the tomatoes quickly and uh, you'll see that here in a minute once I get this all caramel. So what I have been doing is sauteing the tomatoes and the onion. If you want to come see the consistency, this is what happens when you stir it frequently. It almost becomes like a paste, which is exactly how I want it to become. You don't want any um, tough pieces of tomato or onion in this sauce. Okay, and now I'm actually going to put my guacamole in the pot to kind of warm it up. Um, you don't usually see guacamole uh, avocado warm, but I think it'll add a good consistency and it'll complement the texture of the scallops and the prosciutto. Let's give it a try, shall we? So just put that all in there. Don't waste any if you must. Go to another room and uh, Look this off the bowl, especially if you have to stay on the turn. All right, and uh, come see this for a second. If you can, I'm actually going to take it, the stove's on low, but I'm taking this off, and I'm just lightly folding it. Folding is basically the method of just um, rather than stirring in a circular motion, you just literally fold over. Uh, and then eventually it'll all become consistent. So this is actually looking really, really delicious. Now I'm going to let it sit on here on the stove for about a minute and then taste it. Um, but it should have the consistency that I'm looking for, which is a creamy, smooth uh, consistency to, like I said, complement the rougher texture of the prosciutto and the softer uh, texture of the scallops. So I've just finished the guacamole sauce, and as you can see, it changes colors. Um, personally, I'm a big advocate of presentation, so this may not look like it'll be very presentable, but I can tell you one thing, it tastes delicious and will make it work. So we're going to put this to the side. I'm going to get out the scallops and prosciutto. Ooh, heat wave. Ooh, wow. Okay, you can hear the sizzling. <laughs> Look at how crispy the prosciutto is, yet the scallops have still maintained their consistency, which is, you know, they're not supposed to be dry by any means. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put out a plate. We'll do this one. We're going to use some of this warm sauce. By the way, I added a hint of salt in the sauce and a little bit of pepper just to give it a little flavor. Okay. And we're just going to make a little bit of it. Okay. And since this is very hot, don't worry, I will come to you. Let's see, which one am I going to choose? Let's do this one. Actually, I'm going to do two because I can. And next to that, I actually made some kale chips before I uh, before I filmed this. And I don't know if you're familiar with kale chips. I will have a recipe on my website along with this video. They're very simple and they're a good substitute for starchy potato chips, which everybody loves starchy potato chips. But if you want to kind of have that crunch and saltiness, I know that I crave salty foods more so than sweet. So. Um, so you can hear so you can hear how crunchy it is. I'm actually just gonna put a size of kale chips next to this and um, call it good. So this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is your paleo version of prosciutto wrap scallops with rosemary seasoning and kale chips. Thank you for joining me this evening. 
For more recipes and videos, please visit my website, www.christinaskitchen.com. Christina spelled C-H. Thank you so much.